Okay, I planned on doing this video in my shop, but uh, the power company is taking its sweet time to come back out and hook up my power after the big storm knocked the power pole down. Anyway, I'm gonna, in this video, I'm gonna show you how to install a Honda Civic. This is like a 94 to 2000 model Honda Civic radiator, electric fan, in place of the Pajero's, you know, small little one core and clutch fan. Already got the old radiator out. Like I said, we're doing this in the dirt just because I got to get it done. But anyway, here's the radiator. It has, it's a hundred bucks. It has the built-in uh, shroud and fan right there. Um, the, this mount right here, let me pick it up, slides right in. This one is off by a little bit. So, what you want to do is take that mount right there and move it over a couple inches or just build you a separate one little piece of angle iron drill some holes move that grommet would be too easy and here's what you need to do it this it will be your upper radiator hose and that is your lower i didn't do the r d on this somebody on the facebook group did and found out these hoses work perfect so again i got them off rock auto cheap um and while we're in there we're doing a motor red thermostat. This is, if you look it up, it's for a Geo Metro, 180 degree temp. Same with a gasket. Geo Metro, any year, pick a year, it's all the same. Well, I'm going to get this thing installed and see what it looks like after. Putting on the lower radiator hose, you want it to kind of come up and down like this because it's going to come out right about here. So you want to pre position it, obviously, before you get the radiator in there. And then you're trying to fight the radiator because it'll be in the way. I say that because you look here, kind of angles up like that. The Geo Metro thermostat and gasket, as you can see, is a perfect fit. It fits right down in the machine groove right there, no play. And what's nice is it can be had at a local um, parts store for five dollars. Um, it, it'll be any Geo Metro or Suzuki Swift, I believe, but this one specifically was like a '91. One liter three cylinder Geo Metro. All right, so here it is all bolted in. Um, if you want to keep it cheap and you got some tools, drill bits, saws, whatever, you can get some aluminum flat stock and make these mounts. Um, I bought an upper radiator mount for the same Honda Civic. Um, I've ordered two, but only one came in. You see the line up with the old shroud or radiator bolts. Just get a pair of those and like a, a fender washer. And you bolt it to where the shroud mounts and that's nice and firm a little bit of wiggle over here if i really push like i said another mount right here and should be rock solid the fan for now i'm probably just going to wire it to come on with a switch in the ac uh, i'm going to get a, like a temperature um, probe switch you know fan controller uh you'll see how i like this though um what's nice about this though is if you look it's the almost the exact same size and spacing so if you wanted to keep your mechanical fan you could i will see how much electrical draw this creates versus the mechanical loss of a driving a clutch fan and i may just swap back out for the clutch fan but definitely one of the larger aluminum radiator upgrade if you got any questions let me know and you do have to get a longer uh, overflow hose. Uh, it's short by just a few inches. If the nipple was on this side, it'd be perfect, but it's not. It's here, so that's, that's what you're stuck with. But for a hundred dollar upgrade, I mean, you well, a hundred for the radiator. I think I've got maybe thirty in the thermostat hoses and clamps and everything. So a hundred and thirty dollars. Buy it stateside. You could have it in a few days. The reason I pulled this one out is because I sold uh, my other Pajero to a guy and that radiator went out and he could not find one. Um, couldn't find one stateside at all. So I was already planning on doing this swap. So just kind of as a favor to him, I pulled it out, sold it to him. Uh, otherwise he'd have paid three, four, five hundred dollars $500, wait forever to get one from overseas. Like I said, you can have one in a few days and mostly bolt in. Also, I did not redo the lower mount because it goes in this side on the very bottom and in this side it sits on the mount so it's and it's really firm like i, I can't really get any movement out of it um, i don't have any fear of it like coming back and hitting the water pump pulley or anything like that 
Uh, I will later do it, but without power to the shop, I don't have a welder. I don't have all the tools I'm used to. So this is just something you can do literally with hand tools. Don't mind the impact, but you can do with hand tools right in your driveway. Pretty easy deal. Since that last clip, I've put about a thousand miles on the Pajero and actually got the other upper radiator mount uh, put in and it, it works great. I did have to upgrade the electric fan to a Hayden model that has a higher CFM. Um, I'll leave a clip in here and then also a Hayden fan controller. Um, like a lot of people in the Facebook group have mentioned, it does struggle to keep good temperature above uh, 90 degrees Fahrenheit outside. Uh, above 55 miles an hour but I mean, there's just an air flu issue but if you keep it below 55 around town all day air conditioning 110 degree weather does great I would look at this as more of a factory replacement that's easily sourced here in the states versus an upgrade because it's not necessarily an upgrade but it does work fairly well